Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today I'm going to show you how to do a permanent fix for the oversteer problem on a snapper mower. First, I need to get this thing tipped up so I can show you what the problem is. Alright, as you can see, when it gets all the way to either side, it locks in there, and I'll show you that in a second. But if you have any forward motion, or if you're even sitting on the seat, it's almost impossible to get that out of the lock. So that's about the position that it wants to come free. Alright, let's look at it from the bottom. Okay, this is a little bit too dark. I'm going to turn the mower around to get some of the natural sunlight, and then we'll get back to it. Alright, here's the problem, and Snapper actually makes a fix for this, and what we're going to do is basically the same thing as the fix, but it's just a, a home-brewed version of it. So, when you're steering and you steer too far in either direction, it goes from normal steering and all of a sudden it just locks into this, well this is a stop. But at this angle, you can't get it out of the, this tire right here locks up, the opposite tire locks up, and you just can't turn the wheel. You have to get off the mower and push it back and turn the wheel to get it out of that position. So, the thing is that it just goes too far. It should go maybe to about here, and I'm going to have to guess on that. So, hopefully it's correct. So I gotta drill a hole. I gotta find the position right here and then drill a hole. Once I have one of the stops in, then I can figure out where the other one goes. So let's work on this one first. Okay, first thing we gotta do is find the center line of this tab here. And it's about two inches, so we'll go with one inch. Okay, there's my one inch. Now, I want to steer this to where I believe is a good spot to stop the oversteer. Maybe right there. Alright, now with a quarter inch galvanized nipple, I am going to place that right on that center line, which is about there, and I'm going to trace the diameter and then get the center line. Okay, so now I can measure over from this tab. It's one inch up and see how far over it is. Oh, that's one and one. An inch up and an inch over. Now I'm going to drill a 5 16 Here's the nuts that are going to go through there. Five sixteenths. I have one inch, inch and a quarter. I have a couple different sizes. I'm not sure exactly what the length of the nuts going to be. So I got a few sizes. So um, you may not be using the one inch, but it will be a five sixteenths inch hole right there. I'm going to mark the other side and put a hole there as well.
Okay, now we need to measure the amount of this bar that's going to hit the stop. And it's coming out to about 3 eighths of an inch to the top of this bar. So if we make the stop a half inch, that should do it because we got a washer in there as well. So that's plenty. So I need two chunks, one half inch long of that quarter inch nipple. Okay, I went with an inch and a half bolt. I have my half inch piece of nipple. I have a split lock washer. And then I'm gonna put a washer on this end and a washer on the back end. Okay, and then I have a nylock nut. It has a little nylon insert, so it's a lock nut. This is going to be a little more difficult to get on. Once I get it on the end, I can ratchet it down. I think that's it. Okay, both bolts are in, and this is just beautiful. If you have one of these mowers, you're going to know what I'm talking about, how difficult it is. Once, you, once these are locked in that position, how difficult it can be to get it out. This just goes nice and smooth. Okay, so let me recap what this stuff is. This is a 5 sixteenths by one and a half inch bolt. This is a quarter inch nipple. It's a half inch section of quarter inch galvanized nipple. These are 5 sixteenths inch washers. There's two of them. And then there is a 5 sixteenths inch lock washer right there on both sides, just on this outside. And then the nut on the back is a nylock nut. The nylock squeezes really tight. They're hard to get on, but once you get them on, they are not going to wiggle loose. 
so you don't have to worry about this stuff dropping into your lawn somewhere so that is just sweet nice and easy Okay, all done. You can see it from the front here. Looks pretty cool. Not in the way of anything, and it'll fix this oversteer problem for good. Good, good, good. Now I can get this out of my way. So if you want to see more helpful how-tos or homestead maintenance videos or just our vlog here of Country Living, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.